Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the College Football 25 cheese. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys what I think is definitely the best blitz in the game. Uh, it's also one of the best defenses in the game because it's going to shut down just about everything once I get this blitz working properly. But before I do, if you guys want to see more content, more gameplay footage like this, please make sure to be a subscriber, like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, I'm showing you a defensive video today because just last night I put out my first defensive ebook on the year. Um, it's the 326 UNLV defensive playbook. To me, that's definitely the meta. All the plays I'm going to show you today can be found in that. And I'm using the Georgia Bulldogs because the first ebook I'm going to put out on offense is going to be Georgia. And I'm going to have a couple of pretty good offensive plays to show you guys as well. But that Georgia playbook is going to be a couple of days away uh, from me being able to put that out. Still got a little bit of work to do. Now, since this is my first gameplay, I do want to talk about some of the uh, current problems with the state of the game. I know a lot of people are enjoying the game. And it is a really fun game. I'm not going to lie. But there's a lot of problems. Like the kickoff meter here. My opponent kicks a red out of bounds. I guarantee you he hit that perfectly because I had the exact same issue happen to me later in the game where I hit the ball perfectly and it still goes out of bounds. Another issue that I'm having in this particular game but I can't remember having in other games is trying to set my uh, audible plays up. When I get back to the previous screen, they're already gone. It doesn't allow me to set my audible plays. So that means for at least this game, I'm stuck using uh, just a one play system. There's also some confusion as to whether or not you can use uh, different team playbooks for different teams. I tried setting it in the settings, and when I get into the game, like I said, I typically use Penn State. I'm still using the Penn State playbooks. The team playbooks still come up. So I don't know if these are bugs that are gonna be patched or what, but at the end of the day, if you guys are having the same issue or if you're having, if you have a solution, let me know in the comment section. Like I said, this game at the moment feels very buggy in a lot of ways. As you can see right there, they came and complete a simple pass to the running back. As I run that play twice, and I get the exact same animation both times. The biggest issue in this game, though, is without a doubt tackling. Uh, whether it's how the players target or the angles they take or just broken tackles in general. As on third and long, I decided to just put my B tight end on a 10-yard in route. Uh, this is not a one-play touchdown by any means. I mean, this is just a 10-yard adjustment. And you can see, he catches the ball over the middle. There's so many defenders around. There's like seven, eight, nine, ten defenders around. And he just goes right through all of them, breaking a tackle and getting a very easy touchdown. So I don't think, number one, the tight end should be able to outrun an entire defense, especially this guy. He's only like A6 speed. But the tackling is ridiculously broken, as I didn't really do anything there to earn that at all. And I only really wanted to say these things because I know a lot of people defend are still defending this game, even though it's very fun. It has a lot of problems and it's to the point where people should probably uh, start holding EA accountable the same way that they typically did with Madden the same way they got upset with Madden I know it's a new game there's a lot of people really excited to get to play college football but this game has just as many problems as Madden ever has and people need to just wake up to that reality uh, with that being said I'm going to show you guys the formation that today's defense is about and the formation is the 3-3 double mug now it's an extremely glitchy formation this year uh, I'm going to show you guys how to set up a blitz that that stops just about everything as well as a very good uh, pass defense concept as well and for the people that are complaining that I put out stuff that ruined the game number one if you ever watched the competitive Madden tournaments uh, Henry won a million dollars last year because he came up with a three-man nano blitz so I don't want to hear it because this is what competitive online players do and these same guys complaining are probably running the glitchiest RPO plays every single play on offense and think nothing's wrong with it but with that being said I'm also going to show you guys some offensive concepts
tips that you can use if you've run into somebody running this defense because there's always ways to beat these defenses. It's not like they're unstoppable. I might sell them like that. I might use that in my thumbnail or in my title because I'm trying to get as many people to click as possible. Sure, I believe this is a very good defense, but there's always ways to counter everything. So I'll try to show you guys uh, some counter techniques as well. Now, the best play that I find to use is going to be the cover three match because I think this is one of the best coverages in the game. But the truth is you can really use this defensive setup that I'm going to show you guys with pretty much any uh, defense in the entire formation. Whatever your favorite coverage is, as long as it's a zone and not a man, you can use this with cover two, cover three, uh, you name it. There's a lot of different defenses because this is a pretty universal setup. Now, on this first play here, I just wanted to show, I didn't even get the full setup in because I didn't flip the play, which is something I typically do in the huddle. But I just wanted to show that even with minor adjustments and not even get the full setup in, you still get that A-gap pressure. And that's because I forgot to do one of the most important things before I chose the play, and that's flip the play in the huddle, which is something that I mentioned in my tips video just yesterday that most blitzes work best if you flip them in the huddle. And the reason I did that is because I really just wanted this defensive end on this side because you want to use her at the standing defensive end. There's always going to be one. I'm going to use her him. Then I'm going to spread the defensive line, which is deep path to the left and up. And I'm just going to bring him over here so I'm standing right above this right tackle. That's all you really got to do. It's a very easy setup. And you can see we get an A-gap pressure right down the center from the left inside linebacker. So make sure that you have your fastest linebacker there. Although I didn't do that in this gameplay. I just kind of ran it as is. My opponent scores on the first drive anyway based on the fact that another issue that I see a lot is outside cornerbacks just not covering it, what their responsibility is. Is A lot of times it just looks like they hesitate or glitch out. I'm not really sure. It could, be, it could have something to do with the route running of the receiver, but it's something that I've noticed quite a bit that's an issue as he runs right past them. Before scoring on a little check down route to the running back who's you know one of the best running backs in the entire game. So back on offense, one of my more favorite plays is the Gunwing Slot Week Motion PA Verticals as I'm going to choose this play next and pretty much go all the way down the field on just a couple of plays while only using this one play. As the tight end gets open to the outside here and I thought I was going to go for another touchdown with my tight end but he eventually catches me from behind with one of his computer defenders. So I call a hurry up and try to run the exact same play this time by putting the B receiver on a streak to pull back coverage and I almost score with the running back on a check down before I get a pretty fluky tackle before scoring on the next play with a drag route. Now, when I got that A-gap, my opponent might have thought it was kind of fluky when I got that first sack because you'd see a lot of fluky stuff happen. But eventually, your opponent will notice that you start making this shift. And once you start bringing this defensive lineman into this gap here, they're going to think you're saying that blitz every single time. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Uh, but like I said, the first time I ran, he probably didn't see it coming. The second time, though, like I said, eventually he's going to realize, okay, here's something that he's doing there to create that A-gap. Which brings me to my next adjustment. You can't run this blitz every single time because your opponent is going to eventually diagnose it and they're going to start throwing deep crosses over the middle to the area where you're not. So you have to be a little bit more strategic than that than just running this blitz over and over and over and over, even though it's a very good blitz. So on the next play, I'm going to set that exact same look up, only I'm going to leave these guys to drop back i'm not going to blitz all linebackers and you can see he's probably got an internal clock in his head now gotcha bitch as he throws it into what looks like triple coverage and that's because that crazy a gap heat is going to get in people's heads to the point where they're going to be seeing ghosts out there and they're going to be expecting sacks to come on just about every play even when you don't blitz so back on offense i'm going to show you guys another really glitchy play from the georgia playbook as we're going to move over to the deuce close and we're going to pick the play the halfback swing now this play has some crazy blocking from the tight end and the receiver on this side as all you really have to do against zone coverages especially is throw it out to the running back and the blocking does just about everything else as you see how there's just so many poor pursuit angles in this game and that might have been on the user but there's no way i should have that much space to the edge anyway Back on defense, I try to make it look like I'm setting up that Nano one more time, only this time I actually zone the linebackers again, and we still get a B-gap, even though I didn't guess pass, or else he probably would have got a sack as well, as my opponent just flings the ball up in the air as he's totally discombobulated. And we get an interception uh, for the second time to end the game in the first quarter, as my opponent has seen enough. Down 21-7 with the second best team in the game, by the way. He's had enough. He's pulling the ripcord. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see more videos, on this topic i have a defense and a defense tip video popping up on screen so if you guys want to learn more about this game make sure to click links and until next time thanks for watching man my shit out